This week, I built a little squad of ODSTs from Halo ODST in New Mombasa. This little diorama is for my big display case that is meant for Legos, but it has these little trays that can be pulled out, so I've decided to start filling it with dioramas instead. I got these models from Giorgio Donato on Gumroad. He has a bunch of Halo models from the first game, Combat Evolved, all the way up to Halo ODST, as well as a few from Halo Wars as well. They look really, really great. They're super high quality and they match the games perfectly. So I've taken some of his Halo ODSDs. I end up getting his other squad for the actual miniature diorama, the one with the backpacks that more resemble the Halo ODSD models. But these ones are just from Halo 2 and I just auto support them and add extra supports on the feet and they print like a dream. So once these are printed, I give them a coat of primer just to protect the resin from overexposure. And I start lining it up and picking where I'm going to place all of these things. I also got this little phone model online. And that's going to be just to add a little bit more detail to the wall that they'll be up against. So I'm just going to line out where I want the road and where I want the sidewalk to end, essentially. I use a piece of cork for the road. I got these from a cork placemat that was all buggered and broken. And because it was all broken, they gave it to me for real cheap. Little did they know I was going to break it anyway. <laughs> For the sidewalk, I just grab a piece of foam core and cut it to match the rest of the size of this little base that I have. The main reason is just because it is a little bit higher than the cork. Once they are all dry, it's really easy just to trim off any excess and cut it so that way the base will slide into the little grooves that are made for it. I then grab some Millie Putt to sculpt out a little curb to go between the road and the pavement. I split these up so it looks like they're made of little bricks as well as giving them some nice cracks as well. I then make some pavers for the pavement with some 2cm squares of cardstock. And this looks pretty in scale for these 28mm miniatures. As I'm doing it, I'm not lining it up with the base, I'm lining it up with the side of the road and the curb, and that makes it look a little bit more interesting, rather than just being straight and parallel everywhere. And once they're all in place, I go through with my sculpting tool and draw in some cracks in the stone as well, and with a wash that comes out great. dry I'll just trim off the excess and get to work on this wall. I really want to have this phone booth sitting up there because that tends to be something that you interact quite a bit with in Halo ODST. So I'm just going to mark out a spot for it and then place that into the wall before then placing down the wall. Again 
made of foam core just because it's really easy to work with. Once the wall is in place, I cut some strips of EVA foam. This is like the thin craft foam. And I cut them into little strips that look like bricks, as well as some strips to go alongside those rough edges of the phone booth. To make the clean streets look a bit more like dirty streets, I grab some PVA glue and cover it in all of the corners and a little bit along the road. And then I'm just going to dump some of my mixed cover all over that. And this is just made of a bunch of different pieces of flock that have ended up in this container. I give all the exposed pieces of foam a cover in a strip of cardstock as well, because I am going to be spraying this with spray paint and I don't want it to start melting and falling apart. As well as that, I also add a little strip along the side just to put a little bit more color and detail into the final thing. After sealing the sand with some PVA glue, I give it a spray of a gray primer and then I just come through with a lot of washes to dirty up all of the street. I then give the phone booth a little bit of a blue electric sort of look that looks a bit more futuristic than just a grey. And I stipple on some silver all around the coloured parts as well as the parts that I've coloured in black as well. Just to make it look like they've chipped away and they're really old. I then add a sepia wash to some of the walls to add a bit more colour and also to the dirt, which ends up really looking really great, like some grimy dirt and dust. I then printed out a tiny scale poster of the Destiny Awaits Easter Egg in Halo ODST. So I cover that in some sepia wash as well to blend it in with all the colours and then stick that on with PVA glue. It's now time to start adding the small ODSDs. I painted these pretty simply. I just used the Grave Lord Grey from Army Painter's Speed Paints and covered the entire thing. I then picked out any of the undersuit with black, I drew some highlights out with red, painted the visor in a shifting metallic from Vallejo, and painted the gun in a silver. When it was all dry, I just stippled on some silver highlights to act as scratches or dents in the armour, and it came out looking really amazing. But I think he looks a little bit lonely, so I'm going to give him some squad mates as well. And finally, I'm going to give the edges a coat in a matte black just to make it look a bit cleaner. And these hell jumpers look right at home in their little slice of New Mombasa. I don't know how they ended up there or what they're doing, but Godspeed. Godspeed. 
and the little diorama fits perfectly in my little display case. I'm really proud of that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week with something different.